And the overarching message, or rather theme, for this morning is school safety and bullying. So we're going to start with envisioning um, an ideal scenario where our schools are safe. Today, our students are going to feel safe because we have the LSAs in schools and the safe spaces are there whereby wherever they feel unsafe, they are able to go and debrief in the spaces that have been created in schools. A uh, perfect school environment for us is if we have all qualified school teachers for every subject. We should help ourselves from within the schools by creating um, trust between learners and teachers and teachers and teachers and learners and learners. This is the name of our school. Safe Household is the name of the school. Grade R to grade 12. The vision and mission is to establish a safe space for learners to actualize their full potential. And critical for its success, it has a very asymmetrical form of communication. No one walks around with a title. You could speak to anyone in any direction. Are these change makers fools? Do you think that that's possible? Given the present context of our schools? Respect goes a long way, even amongst ourselves, even amongst the school. Because if you don't respect, the Bible says, respect your mother and father so that your number of years may be extended or increase. Therefore, if you disrespect, you are taking the life out of your life. Look at grade 12s. Why there is no bullying in grade 12? Is because there is always a teacher in the class. Our young gentleman there actually termed it so beautifully. He said, so I'm taking your advice to the stage, um, where he said, schools reflect communities. And something has happened where the school has become the biggest mirror or compounding factor of every community dysfunction. Organizations are ignited by leaders. Leadership influences the culture and the climate, and in turn, the culture and the climate influences leadership. But somebody needs to start the fire. What are we going to do about these children when they go out and become citizens and they don't even know who they are? They get to 18, we expect them to make decisions about careers. They don't even know who they are. Can you understand? The children learn from temple boys. That's my term of reference. Losa da, losa da, mike, mike. And I can am a piano now. And when I come in and I walk in, I say, hey. You know, when I was young, and Luther Van Dross used to sit quietly, and they look at me as, as if I'm a dinosaur. And I expect to learn. I expect these students to learn the way I've learned. Sometimes it's too hard to communicate with the teachers because they, some, they somehow be too busy to listen to our stories. And some teachers come to not believe us what we say. That's why some kids run and tell their parents so that maybe the teachers will know how to communicate with the with the with the child. A Chinese proverb says, um, a man who would like to move a mountain starts by carrying little stones, right? Um, by those stones, I say, I mean us as children, right? Because us as children in our schools um, live with that fear that, no, we can't talk to the teacher because the teacher is older than us. Maybe we need to create a space where everyone takes accountability where we say, as teachers, we are guilty of this. We take ownership of this, and we acknowledge this. As a community, we take ownership of this, so then we can move in the same direction instead of coming and saying, but you do this, but you do this. You say that uh, there are no bullism in grade 12 because as a teacher, a present good class. The question is, why can't we put the same effort on grade 8, 9, 10, like we emphasize on grade 12. Is it not too late then on grade 12 where we give these kids attention, you know? Can we give them the same attention when they get into high school? 
but from my school it started from grade 11 where everyone starts to fail you start to fail until you pass for grade 12 because they want that certain percentage they start advising you guys to focus um, for me, I think in high school they only know, knew my same name when I was in late grade 11 to grade 12 because they knew my potential then. Something that my accounting teacher said two days ago. She said that she doesn't believe in the saying that where there's a will, there's a way. She says that where there's a will, you have to make the way. Because we cannot blame circumstances because I can't change that my, my dad's poor. I can't change that. And I can't change that I grew up in Konobuche or I grew up where I went to it next. I cannot change that. But I can change who I want to become. As community and teachers, we engage 50-50 in helping our school. Mm. Because as a parent, you can't expect a teacher to do all the things for your child. It is also your responsibility in making the safety for your child and also taking the responsibility in helping the school. We love that it was interactive, that everybody was talking, not just one guy preaching. We love that the young children were here. And we love just hearing from all different organizations, not just schools. Um, and uh, Umem behind me was, was saying that if they can spread that gospel going forward, man, our country is going places. Collaboration is key and hopefully we will do that going forward.